Politics, really interesting, a little upheaval in the Michigan Republican Party this week. Grassroots Vice Chair Wendy Day was ousted from her post this week for publicly not supporting Donald Trump. State Party Chair Ronna Romney McDaniel made the move saying bylaws state if a party leader isn't supporting the ticket, they're out. What did you guys make of this move this week? I'm going to start with you, Stephen. I, I actually talked to Wendy Day about this yesterday, I guess, uh, and, and it's a strange move. Uh, you know, this is not a this is not a Republican on the fence. She's not a... She's a, a fire breather. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a very uh, a vociferously conservative uh, Republican. And so to push her out because she says, and, and I think she has really great reasons for saying, I don't, she doesn't think that Donald Trump represents the Republican Party. I think that's a reasonable position. And if Nolan had about 30 minutes, he'd be able to get you, I'm sure, a And she's working for the party. She's out, she's out but that's what the bylaws voters say. and getting people. I mean, that's to, what the rules say. The rules it's say. it's never happened before. It never, we've never had a case where, where somebody's done that. I think Ronna had her hands tied. It never happened before. It's never happened before, but you've never had somebody some go this direction. She had to do it, but I think this speaks to the to the reason Republicans were doomed from the beginning with this nominee, and, and maybe even before. You went into this election with an extremely divided party. They fought each other over the last four years far more than they fought Barack Obama, and I believe they would have taken the White House in 2012 if they could have stopped this internecine war that started almost immediately as soon as, uh, that as they took Congress in 2010. And, I, and so they went into this divided, they went into this fighting, and this is just another symptom of it. I, I think it was interesting, because you and I are talking a little bit about this, is this larger question of Republicans saying, well, you have, to, you have to follow him because he's at the top of the ticket and because of the Supreme Court issues that come into and what he could appoint. And it does speak to something that you mentioned a little bit earlier of, can you really trust what Donald Trump would do? And seeing as he's gone after a lot of members of the Republican Party, could you really trust that he's going to carry out exactly the agenda that the Republicans want? All right, I'm going to move on a little bit more.